So today I'm releasing my sass. Well, sort of. You see, on my social medias, I've been posting some teasers about a new SaaS company that I'm making called Scrape Table. And Scrape Table was originally designed to scrape all kinds of sources like Google Maps and LinkedIn, any job boards. Then you can use that data to further enrich it by making things like custom emails, scraping other sources to get contacts, or even scraping the web for more information. It's been a project that I've been wanting to build for a while and over the last month or so, I've taken a lot of time to focus on building it. And the craziest part too is I don't really consider myself that much of a coding guy, but I built the entire thing with AI and ChatGPT. But as I continue to work on it, I just realized the amount of work and effort that I'll have to put into it, especially when there's a ton of other competitors in the web scraping space already. And me being a solo founder, I'm kind of just left to swim, especially because I'm not like the best coder on the planet. But that doesn't mean I want this project to die completely which is why I'm officially releasing my beta version of Scrape Table that I made all for free. Yes, you heard me. The version that I was going to release as a paid feature in my SaaS tool is actually going to be completely free. And also on top of that, in this video, I'm gonna show you the back end of what I built of my eventual SaaS tool that was all made with AI and ChatGPT. I'm gonna show you how it works, how I was going to set it up from the front end to the back end. And I'm gonna have the open source code available for both the current SaaS project that I have on my website and this old SaaS project that I'm pretty much going to retire, at least for now. Maybe I'll come back to it in the future. Or if one of you guys want to help me build it, make sure to book a time down in the description below where we can talk about all things AI and business. If you're wondering what I'm up to that prohibited me from making this tool, it all comes down to me focusing on the AI phone bots and AI services that a lot of you guys have been reaching out for me to help with. So if you want to talk more about that, make sure to book a time. But with that all out of the way, let's get into my new SaaS project, Scrape Table. So I'm over on my free version of my SaaS project, Scrape Table. You can check this out by following the link in the description below at scrapetable.hrznlabs.com. HRZN Labs or Horizon Labs is my AI development company. So you can find this over on that website. And basically it allows us to get Google Maps data for free in seconds, exactly what it says right here. And this is basically the boiled down version of what my SaaS tool was going to become, except now it's just completely for free. So we have a couple different ways of getting Google Maps data here. We have the use maps feature, which allows us to use this map to allow us to add in links, or we can click on the add links button right here. And we can just pop in our Google Maps location links right in here as well. Now I do want to mention if you want to use the maps feature, make sure your location is turned on. If for some reason you turn it off by accident, you can just come up to the little like toggle up here and make sure your location is turned on and then the maps will show up right here. But all we have to do is just come onto a part of the map and then save up to five URLs. So I'm just going to go into Tampa here and then maybe somewhere over here on the East Coast and we'll just add in a couple URLs. So now we have four URLs that we're going to scrape from. If we, for instance, don't want a URL, we can just remove the URL and then all we have to do is just put in our keyword. I'm just going to type in like real estate to get started here. All you have to do is just click on search. It'll take anywhere from like 10 10 seconds to like maybe a minute tops to get all the information. And you can see literally in about like 15 seconds later, we got you found 676 businesses from keyword real estate. All we have to do is click on download here. We could download as JSON, CSV or Excel. I'm going to click on CSV. I will download this folder. We have scrape table real estate with the information. And if we come in here and give it a browse, you'll see we get all of the goods right here. We get things like the business ID, the phone numbers, the full names of the business. You can see they're all from Florida here. Same thing with the full address, review counts, ratings, time zones, websites, Google Maps place links, any of the keywords right here. The price level here is if it's a restaurant and they have those little dollar signs, they'll be right here. They also have the schedule for the open hours for every business, the city, whether it's verified, and also the state of the current business right now. So yeah, we got pretty much all all our data, if we go down to the bottom here, you'll notice we have our total 677, including our titles here of all of the data for those different location URLs that we scraped. You'll notice that we have stuff from Palm Beach here,
here, which is on the east side of Florida. And we also have stuff from Tampa here, which is on the west side of Florida. So you can see how it's pulling from all different URLs based off the keyword to get all of this good information. So let's basically scrape table in a nutshell. And also it does cost me money to run this. So if you do want to support, feel free to donate. It would really help me out, mean a lot. But yeah, that's basically a scrape table. Let's try a couple different keywords here. Obviously you could take these URLs and you could add them to the link section here. And then you could just do the search like that. You know, if I wanted to use this Google Maps search and then I wanted to say like, I don't know, pizza and we can search again. Yeah, we get pizza, we get 139 results and I'll download this also as, I'll download this as an Excel file. We get everything from Pizza Hut to Domino's all in Florida based off that one link. Let's check this out again. I'm gonna head over to Washington and just a DC area. Just click on some random URLs here and we're just gonna say HVAC. And there we go. Literally a couple seconds later, we got 877 businesses from keyword HVAC. I'm also gonna do this one in Excel again. And if we open this, bad boy up we've got our data right here with all 877 including the title right here with all the data based on that location so this is scrape table in a nutshell if you want to use it it's completely free you can check it out down in the link in the description but also as i mentioned before i want to go over just a bit about what i did to put this together because originally i had a full-blown SaaS app on scrapetable.com which basically did everything you're seeing now but in kind of like a UI style dashboard that allowed people to buy credits and also it would deduct credits for every time someone would get a lead. I wanna show you the landing page I made for this real quick. I made this literally in like two or three prompts with Claude, which is kind of insane. But all it is is a simple nav bar up here with some different information on like pricing or about us services. It's all just like template information. I didn't really get to filling in. Um, same thing with like the about us and the pricing here. Then there's this like kind of typing style hero section here, which I thought was pretty cool. And then just a simple little section down here for some information. But then all we have to do is head on over to log in here. We can log in with Google or we can log in with email and password. I'll log in with Google. And after a successful login, we're brought to our data sources tab here where we have our tasks, our feedback. So I had a feedback thing here for people to put in issues or requests that I had. Also a way to purchase credits and also a little settings tab here where I could see my information, my email, and a person could come into here and manage their billing or they could log out. So I think in a second here, yeah, we'll get the billing tab from Stripe here, which is all the invoices the person would have made right here. But yeah, the original idea was to have a lot of these different data sources with like Google Maps or LinkedIn or everything else or Indeed or whatever it is. And then you could just click on these, you could use the maps. And it's a very similar feature to what I built out over on the scrape table website, except in this case, we can save the URLs and then we can add in our keywords. And I also had an option to put in the counts here. So I just made a default 500 for the one on the web, but we could do something similar where we type in like lawn here and click on search. Then it takes us over to the task section here. And then it allows us to see all of our old tasks and download a CSV. But yeah, you can see it just auto populated with a new processing task here. And if we give it a second or so, you'll notice it deducted the credits right here. And then it gave us our Google Maps search result right here. And then I can just download this like we would with the other CSV things here. And it's literally the same information that we get. And then if a user wants, they want more credits, they can just come in here and add more credits and scrape more things from Google Maps. Yeah, this task session here was actually pretty cool to put together. And there's like, you could see all the different tasks of all the completed ones here from all the different API calls, which is kind of cool. And then also once you're done, you can just log out here. It takes you right back to the login page. But how it works on the back end is actually kind of simple. And it's kind of head ass if you're anyone that knows how to code. So my original idea was to code this in Next.js, which is like a full stack framework for building out amazing SaaS softwares and things. I've seen a lot of videos of people doing it. But honestly, at my coding experience, it just goes way over my head and I wanted to build something really quick and simple um, just to kind of proof of concept or like an MVP to see if it was even possible and I came up with this method using just a React application, Vercel to host it, and Firebase for the back end. Really, really simple. All I have here is just my app.js with all of my different routes here. So I literally chat GPT in a make me an app.js that has all these different pages here. So you can see I have like the pricing, the services, the about us, sign up, the login, the dashboard and everything right here to render everything. These ones right here are pretty much as you would expect 
direct um, from just regular pages. I will say for the login and sign up, I'm using Firebase to handle the login. So I literally just typed in, make me a login form with Firebase. And then I had it go to a wait list for people that were on the wait list here. They were signed up with an email and password. It sends them over a new email so they could verify their email. And also if they wanted to use the Google OAuth provider, if they wanted to log in with their Google account. And same thing for signing up right here, pretty much the same thing, but it's just for signing up. But the real fun is the dashboard. So once you're past the wait list, you head on over to the dashboard here. And the dashboard is pretty tricky, but it basically has everything on that one dashboard tab. So this dashboard tab basically displays the left side here, this navigation bar on the left. And then depending on what the user clicks, it sets the different tab component to the middle section here. And then based off of the middle section, so like I have the credits, the data sources, feedback table, tasks, and user settings here. I want to have another tab for tables. I didn't get around to doing that. But if you were to go to data sources here, there is also gonna be the other data sources for like LinkedIn profile, Google Maps business, right? And then these were going to be the Google Maps business ones or this one right here, which is basically the same script that I have in the scrape table web version. So yeah, that's really like the main structure of it. And all I did was just kind of chat GPT my way to saying like, hey, can you build me out a nice user settings here that has like logout features and has a function here to manage billing and, and set up payments for people in Stripe. And then just kind of like a simple way to display it. Same thing with like the feedback here. I think it's literally just like a Google form. Yeah, just I framed into the page here. And then the credits here, this basically ran some Firebase functions with some price IDs to make some purchases on a Stripe test account here. And then kind of showed the different prices here for the different amounts of credits people could buy. Everything's kind of laid out like you see on the website here, which was what I really enjoyed about working with React. But like I said, I really should have probably learned Next.js or something to build this on a more like up-to-date framework. I'll be honest, there's probably a ton of exploits in this code. But as I mentioned before, everything is hooked up to this Firebase account right here. So I'm gonna head over to my Firebase and show you what that looks like. So the great thing about Firebase is that they handle everything from authentication to data storage to custom functions. So you can see there's this authentication tab here, which allows us to enable email password and Google sign-in for our web app. Makes it really easy to handle all this and you can just chat GPT everything to get it to work in your app. Then it also handles the database here. So I have this customer section here, which makes a new customer for everyone that joins the platform. And they have these different collections here for checkout sessions, for buying tokens, payments, if the payment went through, and then all the tasks for everything the person ran. So you can see here, if we go into this, we can see all of the information for each of the requests. I think if we go into some of these here, yeah, they'll say all the information for the requests. And then there's also ones in here for products, which are automatically generated by one of the extensions that I used in order to get Stripe payments to work with this app. And that's using the run payments with Stripe extension here, which makes it super easy to integrate Stripe payments inside of a Firebase application. And you can set up this Firestore stuff right inside of your app, all using their functions they pre-make for you. And speaking of functions, I have some other custom functions in here, which allow me to remove credits, get search data, Stripe webhooks for making portals. I think though this one's here for making portals. Then also some free credits. I wanted it so like whenever a person jumps on the SaaS application, it gave them like a thousand or 10,000 credits or whatever as like an initial amount of credits. So yeah, that's basically how it all works in a nutshell. Make sure to give this video a fat like for everything that I'm releasing and showcasing here. Once again, there'll be links down below to where you can check out Scrape Table on the web version so you can use it for free. Honestly, this was just something I wanted to build and challenge myself with to see if I could actually do. And I would say it was a pretty good success. And I didn't want to leave you guys hanging for the ones that signed up on the wait list. So if you made it all this way and you signed up on the wait list, thank you so much. It really, really does mean a lot. There's going to be more great stuff coming soon. And who knows, maybe I'll come back to this and rebuild it and make it super good. I just don't have the time or money right now to do that. So yeah, check out everything down in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next video.